Welcome to this episode of Daily Dose of Mostly Reasonable People. Right on. So, today we're going to be talking about the comment section and the general reaction to my entry point video. Um, and for those who didn't watch that video, if you're watching this one for some reason in advance, I recommend you watch the other one. But if you don't want to watch that one and you're just interested in YouTube comments, then uh, basically the Cliff Notes version of the entry point video was I went through, I played the game, uh, I generally didn't like it that much, I said it was kind of fun, and my consensus of the game was it wasn't good, but it also wasn't bad. So I felt kind of torn, and overall the general vibe was it was mostly just a Payday 2 knockoff, and if you want to play Payday 2, it's cheap, it's old, and you should just go play Payday 2. That's what I said. Now, a lot of people took uh, a lot of issue with what I had to say in the video. They were none too happy, but unlike practically every other video ever in existence that I've made where I've shit on games, Rather than a bunch of 12-year-old children crawling out of the woodworks with non-arguments and screaming hysterics at me, I actually had people in my comments section making legitimate arguments and being respectful and showing why they prefer the game and, and why they disagree with me. So... That was a bit of a shock. So I guess the first thing that I could say before I talk about anything is, um, thank you. <laughs> thank you to everyone who watched that video and didn't call me a just massive piece of shit who they hate for not liking their favorite game. Um, and honestly, because of that, it made this video a little bit harder to make in terms of being able to showcase idiots because there aren't a whole lot of idiots to showcase, so there's not a whole lot of laughs in here. It's just sort of explaining why I thought some of the things that I did and whether or not I still stand behind those things since I've obviously seen other opinions now. That being said, there were still some stupid people, so hopefully we'll still get a little bit of comedy in this one. Generally speaking, I think there were three points that people made when it came to my entry point video. Number one, and the biggest one, is that people were very upset that I didn't stealth any of the missions in this game. A lot of people made it extremely clear that stealth is the way the game was meant to be played, and playing it loud was boring, uninspired, and just not very interesting. So I should have stealthed the game. That's, that's what a lot of people told me. Number one biggest thing. Number two was about drills. People seemed to think that I missed the mark on drills or that I thought that you should have a giant drill for every door or just generally speaking that I didn't understand how the drill mechanics would work. Um, and all I really have to say on that front is there are some things I screwed up there, uh, but most of it I didn't. And again, I'll cover it more when we actually get to that point, but that's number two. And number three, which is probably the smallest, which is why it's on the tail end here, was about the skill tree system. A lot of people told me that I was just flat out wrong about the skill tree, that I missed a lot of things on there. Um, and I think that's the easiest one to address. So let's start there. Let's start with the skill trees. Um, there were a fair amount of people in my entry point video that said I was wrong about the skill trees because I was under the impression that it was pretty much exclusively just minor stat bonuses. And the reason that this is the easiest thing to address on here is because this is the one where I was just flat out wrong um, and didn't click through enough skill tree nodes. I don't know how I managed this, but uh, yeah, there are perks on the skill trees. They're kind of obnoxious to actually get to, but they are there. And so there's a lot more customization when it comes to your skill tree than I initially thought. So I don't really have anything more to say about the skill tree other than uh, I f***ed up. My bad. Sorry about that. Now I guess we can go in descending order here. So we'll go from number three to number two. Uh, and just for the record, I'm gonna do these specific things and then we'll jump into a few comments and then probably wrap things up. I just didn't want to pull a bunch of comments of people saying the same thing because that didn't really make a whole lot of sense. So number two, the drills. People thought that I didn't understand the drill situation. There were a few people who wanted me to have just a giant drill uh, that you place down to drill open every door. 
uh, and there were a few other people who thought that I didn't notice that there was a silent drill in the game. Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess we can pull up some receipts on that just in terms of comments, because I'm pretty sure there are some on here. I won't blur the non-stupid people. I will blur the stupid people for obvious reasons. Explained it before. But Chow says about the drill, uh, the drill used on small doors are mobile drills that the operative holds, and it's mainly that there's a silent drill that makes it possible in stealth, and that it would be weird to take a gigantic thermal drill to drill small doors, just like I was saying earlier. Um, and I actually went into Payday 2 to try to find footage of using a small drill on a door. I don't know if I'm losing my mind or I just falsely remember things, but I'm 90% sure that you can use a small drill to open certain doors in that game. You use the same small drill to open up safes and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I should have footage of that, so you should be seeing that right now. But the thing is, a lot of people seem to think that I wanted you to, like, carry around a giant drill in your bag and place down the drill and then have to wait until it drills it open and yada yada yada. And that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I think you should have been able to go to a door, place your drill down for, like, I don't know, however long it's supposed to be. Maybe make it so that we, you just tap F and you put the drill down. Uh, and then it drills and you can actually play the game while it's drilling the door because it's very lost on me Why you need to completely stop playing and sit there and hold F when you're opening a door. It's really lame It's really boring Generally speaking, it's just not very fun um, And I'm not a fan now this person here starts out being respectful uh, and telling me some things that I legitimately missed, which are in the tutorial, so I, I don't know how I missed them. Uh, most notably the fact that you can shoot open wooden doors instead of having to drill them. They have you do that right at the start, and I guess it just, like, because you only do it once, it blocked out of my mind and I never thought about it again. Uh, but other than that, they decided that at the end of their comment, they wanted to be a jackass, so I have to blur their name. But they tell me something that I literally couldn't have missed because, well, I, I don't know how you could, and I didn't, uh, but that's that there are two drills in the game, one that's loud and one that's quiet. He claims that in my stealth runs, I use the loud drill, and that's why everyone's alerted. And he also says that I didn't even really dig into the surface of the game, as I literally missed an equipment which is right in front of my eyes when I open the equipment section. Yeah. Yeah, it's right in front of my eyes. That's why I f***ing saw it, and I knew it was there, you f***ing tall. I feel like whenever I'm making these sort of review-ish videos, people love to latch on to, like, one thing that I said, or one thing that I omitted, and use it as, like, a way to discredit everything else that I've brought up, and this is a very good example of that. I knew that there was a stealth drill in the game. I knew there was a stealth drill in the game by, like, mission three or four, because, yes, you can't miss it. It's right there on the equipment screen. Every time you go to the equipment screen, you'll see it. So there's, like, if you miss it, I don't know how you would. That being said, the only time that I brought up the drills and it alerting everyone was when I didn't know about the stealth drill and was still sort of trying to do stealth, which I believe was footage of me on mission two? Maybe three? I think it was mission two. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I learned the hard way, on Mission 2, that my drill is really loud and alerts everyone. And when I did that, I thought it was kind of funny. So I left it in the video because I figured people will probably find it kind of funny that I tried to drill open a door and then you see literally every single person on the map have a little exclamation point and go, Weren't? I know he's here! Um, but apparently leaving in that one funny moment and trying to sort of make a joke about it uh, didn't work because it just made people upset. That drill part was also the part of the game where I basically decided I'm not even going to bother with stealth, I'm just gonna play this game through loud because clearly it should be easier and more straightforward. It'll get me out of here quicker, so I'll just do it that way. And also, whenever I played Payday 2, I basically exclusively did loud heists because I just think they're more fun. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. I think that mowing down a bunch of guys is, is what I enjoy from the Payday games. So if you give me an option between stealth and loud, 
I'm probably gonna pick loud because there's less resets involved and there's less learning paths and all this different other stuff. It's just it's just go in and, and shoot the guys. It's it's simple and it's easy. But regardless, the point is I knew about the stealth drill. I, I knew about the quiet drill. Um, and the absolute mountain of people that were calling me an idiot or mentioning in their more, you know, reasonable criticisms that I missed the stealth drill and that's what made things harder. I did not miss the stealth drill. I know that you might choose to not believe me, uh, but I might actually, now that I think about it, I might have the old footage. I can prove it to you, but I don't think I have to. I think it's one of those things that you should just be able to take for granted. Um, because there's very little reason for me to lie about that. I've already admitted once in this video when I was dead wrong, actually twice, uh, when it comes to the skill tree and shooting open doors. Uh, but this one I didn't, I didn't screw up on, so I wish people would cut me some slack. Now the number one thing that people told me when it came to entry point is that loud sucks and I should have played the game stealth. Uh, and my number one response to you when you say that is if loud sucks and stealth is the way the game is meant to be played, then why the hell is loud even an option to begin with? Seriously though, think about that. If the loud version of the game isn't fun, isn't good, it's a problem, then why is it even emphasized at all? Because clearly the loud parts of the game have mountains of problems. I brought up the mountains of problems I barely saw anybody even attempt to refute any of the problems I had with the loud heists. People almost universally said, yeah, loud isn't fun and I agree with everything you have to say about it. So if the most approachable way of playing the game, which for the record, it is definitely the most approachable, especially if you're playing it for the first time and you have no context, you're probably going to blow your cover. And if you blow your cover a few times, more than likely you're going to get tired of it and go, all right, screw this, I'm just going to bring a bunch of guns. Like, I don't think that's an unreasonable thing to assume that a lot of people are going to do. Uh, but regardless, if loud is so awful and it has all these problems, then why didn't the developers of the game just make it a stealth game with fail states? I'm not sure. I guess they wanted it to be so that way if you get like halfway through on stealth and you're pretty close to the end that it can switch halfway and that's why they even programmed the loud stuff in to begin with. Maybe they wanted the loud stuff in the game so people like me who enjoy the loud heisting more had that option. But if it's going to suck, if it's just going to be kind of soulless and unfun, then why have it? That's, that's the number one thing that I would bring up. Now the other thing is that a lot of people trashed on me uh, for not doing the stealths and failing the stealths and having a hard time. So I was like, there's no way I'm this bad at stealth, right? I Some of my favorite games are stealth games. I've played a lot of them and, and done quite well uh, in a lot of those games. So I'm not just abysmal at stealth games, but I've always been bad at Payday 2 stealth and I could not get the hang of the stealth and entry point and just gave up very quickly uh, because I saw the writing on the walls. But I figured maybe I'll go back and I'll give stealth a shot, right? Because that's what everyone said. So that would be like the number one takeaway of this video. I can go in and I can give my thoughts. I can be like, all right guys, I've redeemed myself. I went, I did stealth and it's this masterpiece that everyone said it was and, and I'm, I'm really just, I really regret not doing stealth and no. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> that is not what happened. I am sorry. The stealth was not any better by like any stretch of the imagination than the loud version. Um I we'll get into it. Let's let's jump into it. So the first thing that I decided to do was to go on to my main character that I'd used to play through the game loud uh, and try to stealth that mission that a lot of people gave me crap for. Uh, the one where I tried to stealth and I used the loud drill and I got caught. It's like the second or third mission of the game. It's very, very early. And I, so I was like, surely if I go here, I play on the easiest difficulty, then I'll understand what stealth is all about, right? And what I learned was that the stealth is not nearly as good as people seem to think it was. And also your class selection at the start of the game is nothing short of a beginner's trap because if you picked the class that I did, uh, you're f***ed. 
if you were looking to stealth and you picked my class, it's over. Give up, go to the character creator like I did, and create a new one. Uh, and pick the one with the lock picks. Because if you're the guy with the explosives, it's over. Remember that silent drill that everyone seemed so proud of? Well, if you use the silent drill on a door, it breaks the door. Just like that guy was saying earlier if you shot the door. And newsflash, if you break the door and somebody sees the door uh, and it's broken, then they alert everybody. Uh, and that's a real, real problem. Because pretty much any door that you ever want to open ever, under almost any circumstances, uh, guards are going to walk past and they're going to see it. The whole idea of the disguise mechanic is that you can disguise yourself and walk amongst the guards and not immediately give yourself away. Uh, but if the guards go on patrol and they just find a broken door and you get immediately just screwed and ratted out because they uh, like automatically know it was you, um, the takeaway is you cannot drill doors. Do not drill doors. You will get caught, you will lose, and you will waste a ton of your time. So what did I do? I gave up. I didn't stealth on my main character because it was very, very clear to me that you can't. Y like, you just straight up can't. So I came back with lockpicks, uh, and suddenly I was able to get through basically the entire thing with very little issue. So uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. If you pick a certain class, which I suppose is designed around the loud heists, uh, you can't stealth at all. And I mean it. I mean at all. You need to open doors in order to play. You have to. You cannot get in without breaking a door. And they will see the door. So, like, I just... I don't see what people see here. I really don't. I don't get it. Like, it's, uh, it's the same thing I said earlier. It's not good, but it's not bad. So, I'm torn. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't enjoy the stealth as much as people seem to think that it was a masterpiece. The game is okay, uh, and it's not a completely shameless ripoff like Notoriety, which I hopefully that video has come out by now. Um, but, uh, like, I don't know. That's the stealth. I did it. There you go. Now, we did have a small amount of stupids that I could easily find, so we'll just throw them in at the end here. Um, the first one is from this guy who says, Imagine if Eclipse tried Legend difficulty on Black Dusk. He will reconsider. Um, uh, what? What, what am I reconsidering exactly? Uh, am I, am I reconsidering that I don't like the game? Because I, I don't think playing what I already did on a harder difficulty is going to make me reconsider. Am I reconsidering the fact that I said the game was too easy? Because I don't even think I said that. I said that it's awkward when you're an immortal god when you're playing on lower difficulties, and I bet you when you crank it up, you die way faster. But I didn't do that because I was playing alone. So I won't reconsider that because as far as I'm concerned, the comments told me I was right about that. Uh, so... Your guess is as good as mine. Let me know what uh, you guys think that this person meant by he will reconsider because... I got nothing. I'm, I'm pulling up empty here. And then, this jackass who managed to get 14 likes on his comment says, Please tell me he made this review while never knowing he could drop the bag he starts off with to pick up bodies and hide them. Uh, no. No, I didn't miss that. You want to know how I didn't miss that? Because it's in the tutorial at the very beginning of the game. They, they literally show you that. And maybe I can forgive you a little bit because, you know, they have you shoot open the door and I didn't realize that that was like a normal thing that you would be able to do on every door. I figured that was just a tutorial door thing. Evidently not. But I think it's pretty clear uh, that hiding bodies and using disguises is something that they teach you right at the start. So, uh, no. Uh, I did not make the review without knowing that you could hide bodies. I just, I feel like some people think that I'm completely brain dead. I, I don't know what I did to deserve that assumption, but it's here. 
And the other stupid we already covered. It's the guy who was clowning on me for the silent drill. Uh, but I think that's a wrap. Um, that's the last time I'm hopefully ever going to have to talk about this game. Because uh, I'm definitely not going to play it again. But I figured some people deserve a, a response to some of the things. And some people deserve to be knocked down a peg uh, when they just make false claims. Because it's easy to make false claims on the internet. Um, and I also figured I'd come on here and, uh, and let you know a few things that I was wrong about. Because I'm not always right. Crazy. I know. Uh, people expect perfection and then they don't get it and they're like, what? Uh, but it turns out that you actually can miss things. Crazy. But yeah, that's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, don't do those things. And with that being said, have a wonderful day and night wherever you are. And I'll see you guys next time.